Look, I know it doesn't matter at all in terms of the film, but um, that looks nothing like Obama. Doesn't even sound like him either. No, not Awful. at all. Awful. Just terrible. <laughs>
Muslim. Right. <laughs> no. You are Indian. Exactly. <laughs> and so it's it's this whole, obviously racism in America is very prevalent and always has been, and that just heightened it a lot. And you, you need to know, for us who were here during 9-11, um, that yes, that, that kind of stuff did happen, but I know you'll feel the same way and you had the same reaction. It added insult to the injury when I heard about the way people were being treated because um, in fact, it made me, and I should have, in retrospect, I wish I had, the thought occurred to me several times to like go to a mosque or go somewhere where I knew they'd be and say, you know what? The crap you're hearing in the news, that's not all of us in America. Mm. We, don't, we don't stereotype you guys and assume that just because you're Muslim or you're different means that you're the people who did this. This, this was done by evil people. Mm -hmm. This wasn't, you can't just relegate this to a religious belief because this isn't a religious belief. This is fanaticism. Yeah. And it just, it, and watching that again, I agree with you. The perception from their vantage point was really interesting to watch. For me again, 9-11 for everybody in America is very, very deep. It's even more so for me in the respect that I was born in New York and I spent every Christmas in New York even though I was raised in LA. And I remember when I saw the towers drop, I, I, was, I had gone to work and had heard about what was going on in the news and I saw on the TV screen, I saw the first tower go down and I instinctively, it makes no sense, I instinctively reached my hand out to catch it because this can't be happening. Yeah all the people that are in there um and and it, so we could talk about 9 11 yeah, forever no, no. uh but that i i felt that that was an extraordinarily um yeah I and how it impacted them yeah that's that's what her business i liked a lot because it, it obviously the, the ones that we have here it all focuses on america right and, and how unfortunately Americans feel and obviously i even though they'd affected everybody in america and one of the best lines in this whole film was before Everybody associated it was BC and AD. That was a great line. And then he said, "There's now a third one. It's post 9/11, right? And pre 9/11. And that is a hundred percent true. true for everyone. Yeah, for everybody, including the ir the irony of the story of Shah Rukh Khan getting stopped in the airport. Yeah, in real life. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people say that this was like a propaganda film because he was mad about." Whatever happened, I, I don't know any of that stuff. I'm just judging it off the film. Yeah, no. Um, so y'all deal with that right. stuff how you want to deal with it. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we're just dealing with, with the film itself. But uh, I thought that was a great line and it's a 100% true line. Mm -hmm. um, and so, like I said, I loved the message of this whole film. I also loved the message of the same thing with PK. The autism and Asperger's as the lead character in your film and the education that it brings to everybody yeah, about it. About it. Um, you, uh, once again, I've never seen that outside of Forrest Gump and Forrest. Um, what's it called? Uh, Rain Man. Rain Man. Uh, this reminded me a lot of Forrest Gump. Yeah, it had a, a couple elements of Forrest Gump, a couple elements of The Rain spirit Man. of it. Yeah, yeah, the spirit of it was very Forrest Gump. Um, but I agree, to, and it reminded me as well because mental illness is a big you know, know, thing I, for me with my dad. Because mm -hmm. if you don't know, my dad has battled mental illness his whole life, and I got stories I could tell you. <laughs> but any... Anything where someone's mind doesn't function like the general populace. Yeah. Like that moment he was walking down and the guy in yellow walked by him and he just, he, yeah. he started, it's important to remember that, you know, he's, the guy isn't crazy and the guy isn't on drugs. Yeah. He, he has this thing with this, he's trying to live with. I thought that was yeah. just a great little and, moment. And I love the, so like the first part of this film, about the first 30 to 45 minutes, I suppose, I almost forgot it was about 9-11. I totally did. And I was like, oh, this is, I thought it was all It like, was about these two. PK and their relationship yeah. and him having autism and uh, Asperger's, which I thought he did a great job, by the way. Yeah. In, in terms of great. Amir Khan's act. I'm not Amir Khan's act. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Khan. That's just perfect. Not Amir Khan. Uh, his acting, this is the first time we've been affected. I, I was mostly thought he did a fantastic job. Yeah, he did. He did a great job portraying um, this character. So did the kids who portrayed him young. Yes, they did. Yep. Him and the uh, his wife in this, I, okay. thought, I thought did, did yeah. really well. Get I, I know how to pronounce it. Kajul. Kajul? Kajul. I heard that come out of her own mouth. So. One, yeah, she has great eyes. Dude, and I apparently these guys are like the golden couple who've worked before and are like, she's oh, like really? a legend. Yes. Gotcha. I, I did a little research because she... As much as I was 
deeply impressed with him. Like from the get go, I thought, oh, dude's legit. Mm. Dude is a legit actor. Yeah. And then I was watching her, and the moment for me, for her, she was great throughout the thing, but when they gave her the moment with Sam over his dead body. Oh, yeah. And she sang Come Back to Me. Yeah, that was a great scene. She knocked that out of the park, man. Yeah, she did. And I'd love to know if she was given time in the trailer beforehand, if they gave it, if they, that was one take because it was such a gut wrenching thing for her to do. I was riveted to her and felt she was 100% true in that moment. I thought that she was, she is, there's a reason her name sounds like Jewel. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's preciously wonderful it's as a an actor. Great name. Just so at her eyes, yes. Yeah, I also like that she has one name. Uh, yeah, I do. It's kind of cool. <laughs> kind of cool. Uh, but okay, I'm going to go into the, some of the stuff I absolutely oh, like, despise about this. Oh, oh, oh. Was it the piano playing? <laughs> no. And like I said, it didn't ruin the film. I enjoyed the film fully. And I, uh, it was mostly the message of it all in there, the main people's acting. But there's a couple different elements to this. The, some, almost everybody outside of the main two actors was almost terrible. Really? Um, yes, almost. Not all of them, but almost. The directing and the a lot of the writing. And a lot of the it has to do with the stuff not with these main people. Okay. So it could have been the acting. I don't know. But, like, uh, some of the directing I just I can't forgive. It's like he, I almost felt like he thought I was an idiot. When? It was a lot. Yeah. Like, uh, like, you don't need to, as an audience, I don't need to be told when somebody doesn't like somebody. I can tell that. You don't need to do stupid things like have a prison guard who you've seen the entire time when he leaves the prison go like this. Oh, yeah, okay. Those types of things piss me off so much. <laughs> I'm, I am with you on... And not, it wasn't just that. There was a lot of those elements. The, that whole... That prison guard for me was the least... I thought we didn't need that whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, I didn't even necessarily need to he see... Just, he just needs... You just need looks from a prison guard and you know that he doesn't like him. Of course. I don't need you to be like, I'm watching you. Right. You, you, t you Taliban wearing... Right. I don't need that. Yeah, I agree with you. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> And it makes me feel like you think I'm an idiot. Right. You're, you're, you're giving me something that I don't know. I don't know. need you to be direct in terms of like saying exactly what everybody's thinking all the time. I can, I can decipher that. Yeah. I if agree. You're a good, whole, if you're a good director, you can do that. Yeah. That whole sequence where he was arrested and then kind of interrogated and... Oh, yeah. And when he was interrogated, it was awful as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the guy who's interrogating, he was like... What? So you believe this whole cockamamie yeah, I saying agree. that he's coming? Uh, shut up! <laughs> God! Yeah, uh, that was very frustrating. For oh, me. it's and it, it wasn't just that. It was it, it happened a bunch in the film. Those types of things. It was mostly with all supporting characters that the writing or the acting was terrible or both, and they put it in there for some reason. See, it only bothered me in that sequence toward the end where I thought, let's cut to the chase and stick to where we've been. No, there was a lot. It happened when they were beating up the kid. Oh, that was awful. The the, the kids in the, the beat kids. up scene. Yeah, that was that um, was that was not a good beat up scene. Yeah, it, there was a lot of when when the kid and when he met Big Mama or whatever her name is. Yes. No, like she was great. I loved her. Jenny. She, yeah, she was great. But Mama when Jenny. He, when he met the kid, uh, and he was like, "Are you not gonna help me now? What do you?" <laughs> it's like, no one says that in real life. <laughs> it it when people in film. Is it, it Mama Mama? Yeah, Mama Jenny and no, I hear Joel. Yeah, I loved her. Uh, but, like, it was mostly the directing part of this, where, like, when characters don't seem like real people and they seem like you're making a caricature outside of if it's a comedy. Yeah. Um, when they just seem like they're there to give you a certain point mm -hmm. and it's exaggerated, it makes me so mad and I hate everything about it. <laughs> because the main reason I go to films is to watch acting I love watching good acting and good performances and when you rob me of that it makes me incredibly upset because and it's already it, hard for me to watch films a lot because as an actor I'm watching it of course and decipher oh, what, what were they doing behind the scenes there what were they doing uh, again? well and it's a, it's a double whammy because at the same time it not only insults you mm -hmm. it r rips off your suspension of disbelief because you go from believing the characters and believing the story to you're pulled out to the fact that wow that was a horrible choice and now I'm not thinking about the story anymore yeah so it happened a, a lot for me and like i said it, it wasn't it wasn't salman khan uh fault and it wasn't the main no, they, were both, they were both phenomenal throughout the whole thing 
Uh, and the George W. Bush wasn't that bad looking. No, no, he the George. He was pretty good. We didn't hear him talk though. Yeah. And so, but I mean, there was a couple times when they, they the director did a good job at that part where he didn't stay on Bush for too a, long. Too right. Long. Yeah. Because when you looked at him too long. Then it started. When Obama get... talked for the first time, I thought, oh, oh no. no, that was terrible. No. And I said that on Twitter, please follow us there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but anyway, like, let's get back into what else did you not like? Um, it was, like I said, there was a lot of the, the, the writing um, of it, and then staying on moments that I don't think he should have stayed on that I think would have had a bigger impact. Like, I actually, when, he, when she was yelling on the soccer field at. Salman Khan? Yeah. I thought almost that could have been cut. I mean, Shower Khan. Shower Khan, sorry. Um, call him every other He's con mixing up all the cons. Uh, <laughs> uh, when she was yelling at him, because she right. was obviously very upset, rightfully right. so, and, um, but I thought that could have been even more powerful if they would have cut it down um, and hit her not said almost everything she said and cut certain moments to where it would have been more impactful to just, she said this, cut. And I thought it would have been a little more impactful. I know, and I give them a lot of grace because I know what they've got to do with their run times and their intermissions. Yeah, I know. So uh, I, I, I often have that thought, but give them a lot of grace because I know they've got to have a run time that's two and a half hours. Yeah. Two hours is the, the least they could do. Yeah, I know. But it just, it, it, it... Now, what did you think about the hurricane sequence? The problem I had with the hurricane scene... One, I don't know how he got across the country so fast. <laughs> Thick forest. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But uh, I didn't mind that so much. And passed all of the blockades. What and... I did mind was the fact that they apparently couldn't get out. But these hundreds of Muslims and Indians could get in. <laughs> so easily. Yeah. But they couldn't get out of there very easily. <laughs> but everyone, including uh, Shah Rukh Khan and all these people coming to help, obviously the government couldn't. That was the whole thing. But I, I, the, the message of it I enjoyed. Yeah. Because it was that uh, Shah Rukh Khan came in and he decided to help. And then he inspired all these other right. people who um, decided to come help right. these random people they didn't know. And they right. were mostly Hindus, Muslims, and all those kind of people. Yeah. Um, they came and helped. So I enjoyed that message that they're all about love and, and that's what they're all about. <laughs> it's just the, the logistics of it kind of messed with me. It did a little bit with me. Now, did it bother I was like, you? All these hundreds of people can get in. You can't get out of there. Did it when it went <laughs> to the hurricane? Mm -hmm. Did you initially when I saw the hurricane part when it started? Mm -hmm. My first thought was, why? Mm -hmm. Why, guys? We've got a great story here. Why are we going off on this trail of a hurricane now? And him having to go back to Mama Jenny and Funny Hair Joel. Well, I assumed it was Katrina. It was. It was supposed to be. Yeah. But why? Yeah. And then I saw why later. It's because they needed to show you what he'd been saying all along, yeah. which is it's the actions of a person. And if he didn't do something, it's, it was a double message of don't wait for the government to do something. Mm -hmm. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. And if you're really going to be a loving person, it's not what you say. It's what you do that's going to define who you are. And then I had a moment that was really big, and I don't, I, I don't know if the director intended this but it was the first time for me now when when i watch an american movie or any movie that's depicting something i'm really familiar with yeah i love it when i capture something that's this really deep message that maybe others not familiar with my culture get mm -hmm. when she shows up in, in the hurricane place right and he sees her and they come to each other and she clearly you know she's feels bad for what she has said to him and mm -hmm. she's hoping he can forgive her. Mm -hmm. There was a bonfire. So the holy? Yeah. Oh, were they celebrating holy at that time? Th they weren't celebrating holy, but for an Indian audience to watch those two at a bonfire, what it did for me having just celebrated holy for the first time, mm -hmm. I thought, what, I don't know if it was intentional by the director, I thought, what an absolutely brilliant touch to position them in front of a bonfire when in Indian culture, the entire season of Holi is about forgiveness and new beginnings and restoration of relationships. It made me emotional. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get that. Yeah, that, uh, it, was, uh, it made me emotional for two reasons. I thought it was beautiful. And the fact that I could connect that dot because of our exposure to what's been going on in India 
that for me was like one of the highlights of the movie yeah. for me. I did enjoy the fact that I, I, I would love to talk to an Indian person about this film and know the differences that they saw in the film. Yeah, me to too. Us, obviously here in America. Me too. Saw because I'm sure the experiences are obviously totally different. Totally different. There's stuff obviously that they're both blind to, especially if they're in America. They've experienced this kind of probably hate uh, from people. Absolutely, especially depending on where they are in the country. Absolutely. Um, and so it, it, different things we notice, different things they because obviously, I'm sure when like if an American film depicted uh, Indian president or an Indian public figure mm -hmm. and just like we did with Obama and Bush yeah because like, they were like yeah I don't think because a lot of the comments I got when I commented on it on Twitter was like that doesn't really matter right <laughs> it but just it, you know, it, it doesn't but it's just something I noticed and, and I did, so I'm sure they do the same thing with people for sure people in films with that that they know very but well but that I, when I was watching what Obama was doing I thought that is that's something Barack Obama would do Oh yeah, I mean they, they got that it. is something he would have done. Is if he would have if this situation had happened, that is something he would have done. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's, did you cry? Uh, I cried a couple times. Okay, I, nothing like I did in some of the Amir Khan films you've seen. But I cried uh, when she had her moment at wanting him to come back. I mean, I just how do you not when you've got kids? And yeah. I I immediately empathized and put myself there over my kids and since it was a boy I'm thinking what would it be like for me and I know that's I'd love to know where she went as an actor because using substitution and emotional recall who was she was she using something from her life what mm -hmm. was she using to give us such an honest portrayal so mm -hmm. I cried there mm -hmm. and I actually got teary eyed with that usage of the fire and the bonfire oh, and them okay. together and I did not see the stabbing coming any, by any stretch I thought that was a little weird but yeah I didn't see it coming yet didn't, I thought you'd love that because it wasn't tying it up in a boat I, I was just wondering why people didn't see oh I was wondering why people didn't see this guy with a knife coming I cried in the third place oh. the third place I cried because I just mentioned the stabbing yeah I'm going to probably cry now when she's in the hospital and he wakes up and yeah, here it comes. And he says, can I have a hug? Yeah. And, he hu and she hugs him. And that's the first time in his life a tear comes down his cheek. Yeah, no, that was a good moment. I, I almost had a problem with that moment. Though. Really? Because it, it tied it up in a bow and you hate that. Or was it more than that? And autistic people and Asperger's people don't drastically change like that. Because of how their brain works. I, I get it. It doesn't matter if it's an, a really emotional moment okay. for a regular person. I get it. I get it. I, get I it. mean, I'm sure it can happen. I'm not saying it can't happen. No. But all the autistic people and Asperger's people I know in my life, even if it's this big moment in other people's lives, sure. they're not going to change who they are because that's not how their brain works. I get it. I totally understand that. And so that. I was like, he wouldn't say that. <laughs> But, but it the didn't, optimist it, it, in me... I know, it didn't bother yeah, me, yeah. and it didn't ruin the film. Right. It's just that's the issue I had with that. I was like, I don't I get it. kind of believe that. I but understand I, what they were... It's cinematic, and it's all this kind of stuff. It's it just, is, and I just believe that all things can end with the happiness I and prefer sunshine sad and rainbows. Endings. I'm a Hufflepuff. I He's a Slytherin. I prefer sad endings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, makes me more happy. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, I, I enjoyed the film. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. But well, we didn't even, there's so much more to talk about. Like, we didn't even talk about, this had the same kind of messages that, say, PK did. Yeah, it did. Challenging structures, but this had a, this had a bit more, um, whereas PK really appealed to you on an emotional level. I, I did love how it uh, showed how intelligent Asperger's people and yes. people with uh, autism are. They're usually smarter than most people. Love the scene in the mosque. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was actually that when was no, movie. no. You're a liar. You're yeah. a liar. When he started talking about the diff that that was one of my favorite moments. The different interpretations of the story of Abraham. Yeah, that was a great scene. That was a th really well written yeah. and really was, well put together. That was one of my favorite scenes in the whole. Yeah, thing. great I, moment. I, I really because you you don't see that and obviously, an an American director or filmmaker probably couldn't do that scene justice. No, especially if they're not. Muslim or Hindu or somebody who's they, in that culture. No, you know who could do it is someone like a Mel Gibson in this regard or a Spielberg because they do such uh, in-depth, painful homework that I think they'd get it right, but you'd be better off telling it from the vantage point of someone who is 
way more familiar with it. It's just it's in their DNA. Yeah, I so we, we obviously enjoyed it. I There was some stuff I hated, some stuff I really loved. Yeah, there was stuff I, I hated. But I ended up enjoying the film yeah. as a whole, and I, I, I'm glad y'all recommended it to us. Please let us know what of his next films we should watch. I want. I can't wait to see him again. Yeah. I can't wait to see her again. I absolutely love... Both they're oh, yeah. legit heavyweight great actors. Yeah, so great please, actors. Please let us know. And uh, it's Khan, not Khan. That's from, right. From the uh, Epiglottis. From the Epiglottis. Yeah, Khan. 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 <laughs>